Hello, it's Jody with FB Tutors, and today I want to show you how a product can make it through a sales funnel on Facebook. So let's get started. I've run into a few authors recently that were having a hard time figuring out how to use Facebook to market their book. Most recently I was on LinkedIn and an author of a book asked this question. I'm an independent author with a Facebook fan page and profile. I've always been a bit confused on how to use these resources to full benefit because they seem so closely related. Can you suggest some best practices for authors or publishers to get the most promotional value out of a fan page and profile? The following is my answer to his question. If you are not selling a book, let this serve as an example of how a sales funnel can function on Facebook and how a page comes together using all of the resources that Facebook has to offer. This is the author's current page. This is the author, editor, Joe Fallensby, and his book is titled, okay, bear with me, Fidei Guide to America's Maritime History. So in a nutshell, the book is a travel guide that helps you discover maritime museums, tall ships, historic ships, and lighthouses in the U.S. The first thing I would do is build a platform that will allow our sales funnel to function correctly, and that is a Facebook business page. I would name the page the title of the book and use a book category, which has fields that pertain to books, like release date, genre, and awards, to name a few. I would add a few iframe tabs, including the About the Author tab, which would include the author's bio and body of work, the Read Excerpt tab, which gives us an opportunity to draw people in by giving them a sample of the book, the Book Tour schedule would contain just that, his schedule and an opt-in to get a notice when he is in your town. By Now would be similar to what a lot of authors have, which is a one-page landing page on the web with a graphic of the book and a buy now button. This one would fit into the Facebook page. The profile picture, which I think is great because it is so warm and inviting. It looks like he's really passionate about what he does and is also really proud. The only thing that I would add is a call to action about clicking on the tabs below the profile pic. So by drawing attention to these tabs, they too will function as smaller funnels. They will help bring customers to events, help create a following, and introduce those who landed on this page to the author. I think that people are not staying on pages very long because there is nothing to do. Okay, I read a few status updates. I clicked like when you told me to. Now what? We are so focused on collecting likes that we should be focusing on collecting leads. I say you collect likes, I'll collect leads, and turn those into money. And how do we do that? By having a strategy. By having a sales funnel. The easiest thing to do is to think of the beginning and the end of the sales funnel and figure out how you will be directing your potential customer from start to finish. We need to think in terms of potential customer clicks and actions. What are we wanting them to do next? What do we want them to think? So once I have the Facebook page set up, I have filled out everything to the fullest and used keywords in the information areas. I've invited at least 70 people on the page, a few who are setting the tone of my page by commenting and liking the quality content that I have posted via status updates, and I am ready to start my sales funnel with Facebook advertising. The following is hypothetical, and I would have to invest some time into researching and asking questions to the author because this topic is so foreign to me, but I am less concerned about the details in this presentation and more concerned about giving you the big picture. So you can figure out the details with your specific business and help of FB tutors. So pretty much what I would do is find people who would buy this book and are interested in the subject. So according to his current page, there are some likes and interests that he has added as the business page. So these could be potential customers that I want to jump right into my sales funnel. I need to narrow the search down more, so I look at the demographics on his current business page, which caters to the same target market. 
If he grew his fan base organically, he didn't do a mass like exchange with random people or have a random iPad contest or buy 5,000 fans for 250 bucks. This should tell me what specific demographics to target too, or at least give me an idea and I can do a couple of split tests to find the most successful ad demographic. So here's where the sales funnel starts. There's more preparation and research needed to produce this ad, but hopefully you get the point. I'm going to choose to target all the fans who have liked the American Lighthouse Foundation Facebook page. Let's say it's 5,000 fans total. Then I'm going to continue to whittle my possible reach even more and add demographic qualifiers. Men between the ages of 35 to 65 who have a college degree. That may give me 3,562 people on this specific page that I can target my ad to and who could become potential buyers. So only people on Facebook who fit all of this criteria, men between the ages of 35 to 65 who have a college degree and are fans of the American Lighthouse Foundation, will see this ad. Want to discover the best lighthouses in the U.S.? Our unique travel guide can help. Click to read a free excerpt. So they click on the ad and come to a reveal tab on the Facebook page that we have created for the book. It is way more professional looking graphic than my uh, little example here. But in the upper left is a picture of the book cover. Below that are some quotes about how awesome this book is. Besides that is a brief description, probably the same that is on the back of the cover. And above that is a call to action. Click like to stay connected and to read an excerpt from the book. Once the like button is clicked, the excerpt from the book is revealed. It's a somewhat substantial bit of the first chapter, but not enough to overwhelm. Below the excerpt of the book is a buy now button that leads to the end of the sales funnel. Below that is an opt-in to receive a PDF copy of the entire first chapter, along with a table of contents to continue the sales funnel, if they choose to opt in. We have set up an autoresponder that takes care of sending an email immediately after they opt in. The email contains a clickable PDF link to immediately access the first download chapter. But in the email there is also a personal letter from the author, thanking them for reading the excerpt, saying here's the link. I really appreciate your support and taking the time, blah blah blah. Here's a 20% off coupon if you are interested. Either way, we have a common interest and I look forward to connecting with you on Facebook at any time. I would love your input about the material and your expertise on the topic. Best wishes, Author Joe. Below the signature is, of course, the Buy Now button, which ends the funnel, or the funnel continues. Then I would send out a monthly newsletter to your list focused on the niche topic, with valuable info such as blog posts, events, and of course, your book with a buy now button, which ends the funnel, or continues every month. Possible results. Increase in book sales, increase in fan base, lead base, a targeted email list created, a brand product awareness, and an automated system working 24-7. When Joe's sleeping, when Joe's at work, when Joe's with his family, uh, the Facebook page is still doing marketing for him. Content strategy. I would suggest that he only posts about twice a week and really bring his followers into his space as it relates to the book. Talk about the subject matter. He mentions many different locations, such as museums and lighthouses, who I'm sure would appreciate a strategic alliance with his Facebook page. They could tag each other in status updates. He really has a whole book of strategic alliances. He should also talk and post pictures of himself and readers at book signings or discussions. Post questions to each town he visits. I'll be in Columbus, Ohio next Friday and I don't have anything to do. What is fun in Columbus? What should my family and I do? As far as dedicating time to Facebook, I really think that his commitment to his Facebook page should be proportional to his results. If he is receiving a lot of fan interaction daily, he may want to increase status updates. If he is selling books, he should increase his ad spend and experiment with his target market.
I don't want to say set it and forget it, but if he has set up a sales funnel that works for him when he is sleeping, when he is working, like I just said, his time would be spent well continuing to diversify his marketing mix on other platforms. If this does not work for him, he needs to continue to tweak his strategy until he finds success or just needs to rely on the qualitative results that social media can bring, like fan interaction. This example pretty much includes all the tools that we teach our students, from creating a page to landing tabs to ads and everything in between. If you're interested in learning more, go to fbtutors.com. So what do you think? Do you have any ideas for our author? Do you think what I propose would work or not? Do you have a better strategy? Do you have any questions? If so, let me know what you think on facebook.com slash fbtutors or if I can assist you in any way. Thanks for tuning in and feel free to share the video to educate others about Facebook ads and sales funnels. Thank you.